Hello, welcome to Wastewater Wednesday. My name is Arnell Bell and I'm the Business Development Manager here at AquaCycle. Today, we're going to talk about hydrocarbon remediation. So first, what is hydrocarbon remediation? It is a process of turning toxic substances, in this case petroleum hydrocarbons, into non-toxic substances such as carbon dioxide, water, and volatile fatty acids. Well, why do we do this? Hydrocarbons are typically found in crude oil, natural gases, and other important energy sources. They are highly combustible and make great, great fuel, which is great for us, but can have a detrimental impact on the environment. They are highly flammable when burned. These hydrocarbons release greenhouse gases and unexpected spills have a negative impact on marine life and surface waters. Because of this, it is important to mitigate the risk when working with hydrocarbons and especially when disposing of the wastewater that contains hydrocarbons. Tank terminals house a large amount of liquids, primarily petroleum products. These terminals need to be especially careful when treating and disposing of their wastewaters as they generally have high concentrations of hydrocarbons. The wastewater is formed when tanks undergo washing to change the products that's housed in them, routine maintenance, or when a collection of storm water needs to be disposed of. The effluent is contaminated with chemicals housed in the tank, including hydrocarbons. Additionally, tank terminals would discharge the wastewater well above permit levels or separate the hydrocarbon-rich wastewater and incinerate it, leading to high cost and negative environmental impact. Or they chuck it away to be treated, increasing the risk of spills. This is where AquaCycle can come in and help. In a pilot program with the leading tank terminal operator, our bioelectrochemical treatment technology, our BET, was able to consistently achieve over 90% removal of the most challenging long-chain hydrocarbons, something their existing system did not treat for. This not only met, but was well under permit levels allowed for safe discharging of their wastewater. How were we able to achieve this? Well, by using our BET system as a first step in their on-site treatment, wastewater treatment process, we took wastewater directly from the equalization tank allowing us to bypass their DAF. The affluent leaving the bed system was well below the discharge permit level in COD, TSS, and hydrocarbons. Our superbugs housed within the bed reactor are able to consume these organics within wastewater, including these hydrocarbons. Since we maintain these bugs in a starved state, they readily consume the organics flowing through the system and produce direct energy as a byproduct with no methane production. This means the tank terminal operator was not only able to achieve permit compliance with their on-site treatment system, but they also saw a 50% reduction in greenhouse gases during the treatment, 40% reduction in energy costs for treatment, and a 90% reduction in secondary sludge from treatment. Not to mention all the risks mitigated by eliminating trucking and the cost saved by discharging within a permit level. This system can be applied to tank terminals with or without on-site wastewater treatment, providing hydrocarbon remediation without the addition of extra chemicals. Learn more at aquacycle.com.